Hello. Welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I am Angelia Joy. Thank you for joining me. The choices for the individualized oracle offering faith, love, joy. We are calling the wisdom of the hidden realms as offered by Colette Baron Reed, as well as asking for supporting messages through the Psychic Tarot Oracle, as offered by John Holland. I will open with the invocation. You can, if you like, set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready and willing to understand. And so it is. And the Psychic Tarot Oracle. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready and willing to understand. And so it is. In the position of faith, the wisdom of the hidden realms offers Number 22, the resting tree. In the challenger position, Colette offers, the resting tree appearing as a challenger asks you to consider if you're so frenetic that all you can think about is how stressed you are. Running around and overdoing anything only makes you into a human doing not a human being. This is a sign to be careful or you may become physically ill or at the very least unable to enjoy your life. Be still. It's time to meditate and take time out or you'll make some mistakes that you may regret later. Don't worry. All those things you're trying to manage will still be there when you're ready to move forward again. Only then you will have a clearer head with which to think. And in support, the Psychic Tarot Oracle offers The One of Emotions, Love Begins. John Holland offers your cup is about to overflow with joy, happiness, and positive feelings. This is the first of the emotions card and therefore signifies that a new love opportunity beckons. This doesn't necessarily have to be physical love. It could also represent the passion and devotion for an idea, a goal, or even a new creative endeavor. This would be a perfect time to open yourself and your heart to the higher vibrations and loving energy of the universe. When past issues are resolved, when forgiveness for others as well as yourself has been attained, and when your heart is truly open and ready to receive, then new roads leading you toward love will be revealed. In the position of love, the wisdom of the hidden realms offers 
The Dream Walker, number eight. As ally, Colette offers. When the Dream Walker is your ally, dreams really can and do come true. Still, there are two kinds, those of the small self and those of the divine. Spirit has a dream for you that is yours alone, and all you need to do is ask, and it will unfold like magic. You also play an important and unique part in the divine dreaming of the world. When you ask, is this the dream for me that serves the greater dream? The most beautiful vision for your life serves the highest good for others, too. Just the act of asking will immediately provide the answer. The dream walker is beside you to help you move effortlessly through the illusions, observing the truth, and celebrating the waking dream of your life that results. And in support, the Psychic Tarot Oracle offers number three of spirit, partnerships, and alliances. John Holland offers, the meaning of this card denotes that you're now starting to see the fruits of your labor take seed and blossom. There may still be a lot to do, but watch out for synchronicities, which could bring opportunities to form connections or unexpected alliances that may create something new. These could assist you in gathering resources for future projects. With all partnerships, always remember that there has to be an even exchange of energy. If you give too much, whereas your partner gives too little, it will leave you feeling energetically drained and cause potential disharmony in the union. There must be overall balance within the alliance in order for it to work and blend together for optimum results. This card reminds you that success comes in many forms, even from the most unlikely sources. Have an open mind when listening to others. And in the position of joy, the wisdom of the hidden realms offer Number 10, the Arrow Master. As Ally Follett offers, the Arrow Master appears to help you target your intentions and teaches you how to shoot straight for the stars. The message is to be deliberate about focusing your dreams and desires with intention and about aligning your intention with spirit. Then, let them fly on the wind, directed by the divine, until they reach your goal. The only way to hit the target is to allow the arrow of your intention to fly unencumbered by your eagerness to see it travel exactly the way you want it to go. You may think it needs to veer a certain way to reach your goal, but in the invisible realms, human power cannot make this happen. The divine has its own idea of how the arrow flies and upon what wind it is carried. Nonetheless, if you don't shoot, you'll never score. There is a fortunate message. As long as you do remember the law of detachment, if you do, then be assured that you're right on point. And in support... The Psychic Tarot Oracle offers the Seven of Mental, Deception, and Envy. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. This card comes at a time when individuals or conditions aren't what they appear to be. How well do you really know the people around you? Are they telling you everything you need to know? In business, make sure you gather all the necessary information so that you're aware of and understand all the facts before continuing. You've worked hard. Don't let others take from you what is rightly yours. 
Unfortunately, some people may be envious of your accomplishments. This card also represents a time of sudden and unexpected changes, or when plans that you're undertaking may not turn out exactly the way you envisioned. Have a plan B as a fallback strategy to prevent future problems. Use this card as a reminder to be prepared. Thank you for joining me. Engage the adventure that is before you in the Lao spirit. Even in the spaces you do not understand. Be well. I will join you again tomorrow.